Today, I gave Victor Wembenyama a Steph Curry shooting. Wemby has a 99 three-pointer, 93 free throw, 90 mid-range, and he also has a ton of shooting badges. Check out all the Hall of Fame and goal badges. And as a result of these improvements for Wemby, he is up to a 95 overall. I also made sure that he's going to be shooting a lot of three-pointers out there. As you can see, the tendencies are upgraded. And for today's video, Victor Wembenyama's goal is going to be to break Steph Curry's three-point record and also pass Curry in championships. So let's get into season number one, Wemby's rookie year. Season number one is wrapped, and to no one's surprise, Wembenyama ended up winning rookie of the year. What's going to be crazy about this is not only is Wemby going to be a knockdown shooter, but he's such a great defender and has so much size. He's going to be like a 2K glitch build out here. This this season alone, Wembenyama made 263 pointers. Now, Steph Curry's made over 3,000, so Wemby's got a lot of work to do, but he's already making progress towards passing Curry. And as a team, we were actually decent. We ended up winning 41 games, which was good enough to earn us a play in spot. Unfortunately, Phoenix got the best of us in round one of the play-in. We will have another chance though, but in round two, we end up beating the Kings. So we are going to advance to round number one of the playoffs. We got a battle of Texas. We're taking on the Mavs. I don't know how we're going to stop Luka and Kyrie. I think this is going to be a tough one. We end up losing in five, but honestly, I'm more surprised that we even made the playoffs. And Wembenyama was really good in that short first round series. Headed into season number two, Wembenyama is up to a 98 overall. Oh my God goodness we might be contenders this year i know the supporting cast is bad but wemby is just so good season number two is wrapped and i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was kind of underwhelming when Minyama did his thing, look at the numbers. Almost 30 a night, three blocks, he was incredible. But as a team, we struggled. And just as a quick update on Wemby's threes, he hit almost 300 this season. He also was named to all NBA second team, but one thing we gotta keep in mind is Steph is still out there hooping. He averaged almost 40 this season, so I'm sure he put up a lot of three pointers, yeah. But going back to San Antonio as a team, we only won 35 games. We didn't even make the playoffs. In other news, we saw a rule change this season where the shot clock went down to 20 seconds. This should help Wemby as he tries to break Steph's three-point record. Headed into season number three, Wembenyama is a 99 overall, and also we just picked up Dylan Harper, who is usually elite in the simulation, and we ended up picking up Trey Johnson, who was the second overall pick this year. We've got some young hoopers on this squad who should be able to help Wembenyama in the future. Season number three is wrapped, and this year we took a major step forward as a team. Wembenyama was incredible once again. He averaged over 30 points per game for the first time in his career, and he made a career high of three pointers. But what was super impressive about this season was the fact that we went 53 and 29. Remember, last year we didn't even make the playoffs. And already in round number one, we've got a competitive series against the Lakers. We're headed to a game seven. LA picked up Jamal Murray, LeBron's no longer hooping for them, and they've got AD at center. So it's a battle of the bigs here, Wemby versus Anthony Davis. And unfortunately, in Game 7, Anthony Davis is going to get the better of Wembenyama. Wemby only scored 9 points in this one. That is a pathetic showing. He ended up fouling out. And the veteran AD gives him 38 and 12. So we get eliminated by the 7 seed. Definitely a great lesson for Wembenyama in his young NBA career. You can't underestimate your opponent. And also real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. Anyways, in this upcoming season, we should see Victor Wembenyama enter the top 100 in three-pointers made. Also, a few more things to watch out for. Trey Johnson and Dylan Harper on the come up they're getting a lot better we also ended up drafting darren peterson who looks like he's going to be pretty good but we do have a lot of shooting guards on this team so i wonder how the front office is going to figure that out Anyways, let's get into this season. I think we should be able to make the conference finals. I mean, our players got a lot better over the offseason. Luka's won like a million MVPs in a row, man. It is insane. But Wemby has also got quite a few DPOYs in a row. And this season, he ended up knocking down 292 three-pointers. So he's over a 1,000 on his career already. And
and we're just four seasons in. And check it out, we even got the coach of the year. I guess Greg Popovich retired. He got replaced by Alexander. Wemby made all NBA first team this season alongside Cooper Flagg, who's only 20. That's crazy. Man, I thought Wembenyama would be on the top 100 of threes made, but it looks like he's just knocking on the door of that list. So we should see him make it this year. Anyways, we ended off the year on a 13 game winning streak. We're red hot headed into the playoffs. Round number one, we got the Denver Nuggets. We take care of them in five. Round two, it's the Mavs, led by million-time MVP Luka. They picked up J-Dub. Derek Lively's got a lot better. I mess with this team. It's a good squad around Luka. I'm not going to lie. They might be better than us, but I guess they're not. We're up three to one. They take game five, but we beat them in six. In the conference finals, it's going to be the Pelicans, led by 95 overall Zion Williamson and, of course, NBA superstar James Wiseman. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two is going to go to the Pels. The Pels also take game three. We need game Game four here and we're gonna get it so we're all tied up headed into game five and here in game five we finally got a chance to see Wemby in action Pelicans have the ball about 30 seconds to go and we're down by four. Oh no we let Dyson Daniels get that open but he missed it's rebounded by Wemby now the ball is gonna go up to Rasasha or something like that he swings it over to Vincent for the floater he misses rebounded by Harper Harper gonna go up for the layup and hit it all right we've got a two-point game here about 18 seconds to go which means we've got a foul. B.I. is going to the line. Please miss one of these, Brandon. He makes the first one. Second one for Ingram is off. Oh my goodness, we got a huge break there. It's rebounded by Sohan. Sohan up to Harper. Harper gonna pull the three ball and he misses. It's rebounded and tipped in. All right, we're within one here. And now Dyson Daniels is going to the line. I mean, I'd like if he missed one, but regardless, we've got a one possession game even if he makes both. First one for Daniels is all net. Second one for Dyson is also good. So we are down by three, nine seconds to to go get the ball to Wemby for a three-pointer come on man oh it's gonna go over to Harper he's gonna have to pull it and he hits it huge shot from Dylan Harper and we've got a tie game three seconds to go in this game it hasn't been Wemby Nyama it's been his teammates playing great basketball but we could get gamed right here there's still time for the Pels to get a shot off Wiseman into BI Ingram gonna pull along too and he misses we're headed to overtime and in overtime the Pelicans pulled away we ended up losing Wembenyama 27 and 17 he's been having an amazing playoffs but oh my goodness I mean I know the numbers look good here but 3 of 16 from 3 6 of 26 from the field and now we're facing elimination in game six and we're gonna lose Wemby wins conference MVP in a losing effort but that doesn't change the fact that our season is over now I will say that was a good run for our team and a lot of our guys are improving significantly over the offseason so I think we're poised to be even better in this upcoming year finally Wemby Nyama got his hands on an MVP the numbers were incredible for him this season he of course won defensive player of the year as well well, and we were the one seed as we won 70 games we finished off the year on a 20 game win streak and checking out the all-time three pointers made list look who made it Victor Wembenyama is 97 now he's got a long way to go before he passes Steph Curry who ended up making 4,663 pointers in his career but if Wemby really locks in it might just be possible Anyways, headed into the round number one of the playoffs, we've got the Oklahoma City Thunder, and we're going to take them down in six games. In round two, it's going to be the Utah Jazz. We sweep them. Conference finals, we got Houston. We're up three to one, and we beat them in five. So an easy trip to the finals, where we'll be taking on Stefan Cassell, Scotty Barnes, and the Toronto Raptors. Game number one of the series goes to the Raps. Game two is going to go to us. They also take game three, and we're down 3-1. We lose in five. Man, Wemby, you got to get a ring soon. It's been five years, no rings. I mean, I get it. He's still a young player, but let's be honest. He's not your typical young guy. He's 7'4". He can shoot like Curry. He's a 99 overall. He's got all the tools he needs to go out there and win. Our squad is looking even better headed into this upcoming year. We've got to get this ring, Wemby.
Wemby just went back to back on MVP awards. Another incredible year for him. And Asar Thompson actually won DPOI. That's kind of surprising to see. 16% from three is crazy, by the way. We were the top seed in the West again as we won 63 games on the season. Hopefully, we can get a ring this year. We haven't been able to do it so far. Round number one, we got the Golden State Warriors and we beat them in five. Round two, it's going to be OKC. It's a 2 2 series after four. We take game five and game six. So now we're in the conference finals taking on Sacramento. They picked up Paulo Boncaro. They've got Stefan Cassell, DeMontis Sabonis, AJ DePonsta. This is a good team. But are they good enough to beat us? I guess we're about to find out. It's a 2-2 series after four. So let's go ahead and get in the SimCast for this game five. Game five is going to be a Sacramento win led by Stefan Cassell with 50 points. Oh my goodness. Wembenyama only 15 points in this one. It seems like he struggled in some of these big games, but we're going to need him to be locked in for game six. We're facing elimination and it looks like we're going to force seven here. Wembenyama gives us 36. So does Dylan Harper. Those are the type of performances we need from Wemby in big games like this one we've got coming up. Game seven here, finals trip on the line. There we go, Wemby. That's what I like to see. We're going to punch our ticket to the finals. Wemby Nyama averages 26 points per game in the conference finals, and he ends up putting up 29 and 12 in this one. Shout out to OKC legend Trey Mann hooping for us as we punch our ticket to the NBA finals. We're taking on the Raptors again, but they don't have Stefan Cassell anymore. They do have Ron Holland, though, who is also elite in these 2K Sims. Game one of the series is going to go to us. We also take game two and game three, and Wemby Nyama Yama wins his first chip in a sweep. Let's go, Wemby. Now remember, in real life so far, Steph Curry has won four NBA championships, and the goal for Wemby is to pass Curry, so he's still got to win four more rings in order to do that. But with this type of squad, I think Wemby's definitely got a chance to win at least five championships. Three MVPs in a row for Wembenyama, and it just makes sense. He's on the best team in the league, and he's playing incredible basketball, so he deserves these awards for sure. Now, I do want to check in on his progress in passing Steph Curry on that three-pointers list. Wow, Wembenyama is over 2,000 three-pointers now. That is great progress. Remember, we're just in season number seven. Steph Curry made about 4,600 three-pointers, and that was throughout around a 20-year career. So if Wemby keeps it up at this rate, he'll be able to pass Curry, which is insane. Anyways, let's get into these playoffs. He's also got to pass Curry in rings, so we've got some work to do. Round number one, we beat the Pelicans in six. Round two, we got the Dallas Mavericks, we sweep them. Conference finals, it's going to be the Clippers, and we beat them in five. And now in the NBA finals, we've got the Hawks. They have Cooper Flag. they also have Trey Young and Jaleel Bathia. Pretty nice team, a good little big three, but are they good enough to beat us? It doesn't look like it so far. We're up 2-0, we're up 3-0. The Hawks do take a game, but we end up beating them in five. Wembenyama averages 36 in the finals to win ring number two, his second one in a row. Let's see if we can get a three-peat this year. Wemby already has an incredible resume at just 26 years old, and this season is going to be another opportunity to add to it. Wemby had won three MVPs in a row, but Ellis Harrington ended Wemby's reign of terror over that MVP award. Now, Wemby Nyama did win the DPOY, which is good to see, and don't think that just because Wemby didn't win MVP that we were a bad team. No, we won 63 games on the year. Round number one, we're taking on the Denver Nuggets and oh man we've got a series we're headed to a game seven against Jokic and the Nuggets the Nuggets have a good team Jasper Johnson Cam Boozer and of course Nikola Jokic we get to see Wemby versus Jokic in a game seven here and the Joker is gonna pull off the upset Wembenyama kind of a mid game seven performance overall a solid first round for him but the Joker 27 9 and 10 you also had Jasper Johnson and Cam Boozer with 33 apiece and the Nuggets are going to beat us in the first round coming off two straight championships I didn't expect our run to end that way but it did so I guess we'll see if we can get back to the finals and try and win another this year when Ben Yama, another MVP, he's cooking. He didn't win DPOI this season, but that's fine. 
of course our coach was the coach of the year he's got about a million of those awards at this point and it's been a little bit since we checked so you already know we got to check back in on the all-time three-pointers list Wemby is climbing fast he's up to 34th with over 2,500 three-pointers he's got to make a little over 2,000 more threes to pass Curry but I think he's well on pace to do that he's only played nine seasons so I think Wemby can do that I mean Wemby's only played nine seasons so I think he's well on pace to pass Curry round number one we got the Denver Nuggets and we're gonna beat them in five round two we got the Lakers and we beat them in six conference finals we got Portland we're up three to one and we beat them in five and in the finals we got the Raptors again we're always facing this team man they look pretty solid are they better than us probably not game number one is gonna go to us we're up two to zero we're up three to zero and we sweep them when Binyama averages over 42 a game in the finals what a playoff run this was for Wemby and he goes ahead and wins his third NBA championship Wembenyama is building a goat-like resume just nine seasons into his NBA career. I mean, it makes sense though. We gave a guy who's 7'4 the ability to shoot like Curry. Of course, he was going to go out there and hoop. Let's get into year number 10. Let's see what Wemby can do. Cameron Boozer wins the MVP award. Wemby, another defensive player of the year. We got to check in and see how many of these DPOYs this man has. Bro, why won't they show me? 2K, I got to fix that, man. That's really annoying. This season, Wemby did end up making all NBA first team, but we were only the three seed. 53 wins was all. All we had this year. I feel like that's our worst season in a while. We did end up picking up Kobe White on a minimum, which is kind of huge. And we also ended up adding DeJounte Murray, who comes in at an 88. So another good addition. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into round number one against Portland. We're up three to two and we take him down in six. Round two, we got OKC. Wemby versus Chet. This is going to be a tough one for Wemby. We find ourselves down three to two after five games and we end up losing in six. Wemby Nyama had an incredible playoff run, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. And checking in on the three pointers made list, Wemby is approaching 3,000 and he is ranked 24th in threes made now. And this upcoming season is going to be another opportunity for Wemby to add to that. And he also could add a ring to his resume. So let's get into it. Another season in the books cooper flag won mvp this time wemby didn't even win dpoy either he only made second team what's going on and we were only the four seed 47 wins that's not that good but we made it into the playoffs so that means we got a chance round number one we're taking on the utah jazz and we lose in five so forget what i said about us having a chance wemby tried his best but i guess the team around him's just got to be better we've still got a great big three in san antonio let's get into it another year this time alexander sar is gonna win mvp oh that guy has a cool name when second team again only about 25 points per game which is the lowest since his first season are we seeing Wemby's fall off begin i hope not because he still has some work to do on that three-point record let me show y'all where he's at right now Wemby has worked his way up to 20th with almost 3400 three-pointers made he is getting closer and closer closer to Steph Curry he's very well on pace to pass him and we were actually a lot better this year as a team we won 57 games so I think we should have a real chance to compete for a ring round number one we take care of Minnesota easily round two we got Houston we're down 3-1 we're gonna take game five and game six all right let's see if we can pull off this 3-1 comeback now this is a really good team they have in Houston really well rounded but we have the best player in the series and we need him to come through in this big game. Oh man, the Wembenyama 3-1 comeback, that's tough. We go ahead and pull it off 29, 15, and eight for Wemby as we move on to the conference finals against Utah. Wow, Utah's got a squad. We might be cooked. This Utah team is crazy. They have the MVP Alexander Saar, 89 overall Dyson Daniels, 90 overall Trey Johnson, and 92 overall Lamar Early. Wow, we just cooked them in five. I thought we were about to get smoked, but Wemby said, don't worry, and now we've got another matchup against the Raptors. 
Game number one of the series goes to Toronto. The Raptors are up 2-0. We finally take a game in game three, and we also win game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. We started off this game down pretty big. We tried to mount a comeback, but we just ended up coming up short. So now in game six, we're facing elimination and we lose. Wemby still needs two more rings to pass Steph Curry. And that was a chance to get ring number four. You got to lock in, Wemby You're starting to get old on us. 31? I mean, who knows? The regression could hit for him in a couple years. And I want him to get these chips sooner rather than later. Y'all know the big three. Y'all know the team. Let's just go get a chip. Season is wrapped. Lamar early ends up winning the MVP award. I don't know who this guy is. Wemby Nyama is back winning DPOY though. So shout out to Wemby doing his thing. And our guy Wemby Nyama is getting closer and closer to passing Steph Curry. At this point, he is less than 1,000 three-pointers away. That's what I'm talking about. And also as a team, we had a good season, 56 wins. Let's get to the finals. Round one, we take care of the Timberwolves easily. Round two, we do the same to Sacramento and in the conference finals we got Utah last year I thought this squad was going to be really tough for us but we were able to beat them we ended up picking up Keontae George during the season which is pretty huge so we'll see how this series goes we're down two to one early but we make it two to two after four games they take game five and we take game six setting up a winner go home game seven and it looks like we're pulling away here in game seven when Binyama is advancing to the finals for a chance to win ring number four 37 13 and seven in the big game and now we've got the sixers led by ellis harrington this team doesn't look too crazy i think we should be able to beat them it's one one after two games they take game three we take game four they take game five and we lose in six are you kidding me Wemby that one should have been easy that was a layup of a series dude and now my man Wemby Yama's starting to get old he's 32 y'all gotta lock in and get these championships apparently Lamar Early is the greatest basketball player of all time or something Wemby Yama wins another defensive player of the year also made all NBA first and we won 53 games a hey, Wemby it's time to lock in let's get to the finals round one we take care of sacramento round two we got phoenix we're up three to two and we're headed to a game seven who do they have over in phoenix now nobody we know man we're getting to the point where it's pretty much all auto generated players and it looks like those auto generated dudes are about to cook us in this game seven unfortunately when Binyama loses once again great numbers for the playoffs but it's just not gonna be enough it's been a while since we've seen Wemby win a ring but we will get a chance to see him get even closer to Curry's three-point record in this upcoming season so I'm excited for that all right we get it Lamar early you're good at basketball Wemby another DPOY but like I told you I want to check in on how Wemby Yama's doing in terms of breaking Steph Curry's three-point record and when we check out the list Wemby is 12th he only needs a little over 400 more threes to pass Steph Curry so I'm assuming that'll take about two more seasons for him but he also needs two more chips to pass Curry and right now we're a play-in team so it's not looking good for our championship hopes we do make it into the playoffs as the eighth seed and against Utah we're up three to two we're headed to a game seven we're taking on the million time MVP Lamar early and his super team hey look it's me old Danny Snow what's good bro but anyway we're headed to this game seven let's see if Wemby can finish the job it looks like Wemby Nyama is gonna get the game seven dub this will be a historical run if we can go from play-in to champions it's 2-2 against Memphis they take a 3-2 lead oh well our run is over Wemby was good but not good enough we end up losing isn't it crazy to think that we have simulated all the way until 2038 LeBron James is what 39 Nine years old right now he'll be 53 in 2038 so do you guys think lebron will be retired by then or no apparently spurs basketball is back after being a play-in team last season this year we made the one seed that's right 35 year old wemin yama is motivated to get a ring round number one we make easy work at houston round two we do the same to phoenix conference finals we got utah we're up three to one they're gonna take game five and game six so here we go game seven we could blow a three to one lead 
to the Jazz. Don't let this happen. We're so close to making it to the finals. And this game is going to come down to the wire. We've got a three-point lead with about 30 seconds to go. Jazz have the ball. It's going to go into Tucker on the inbound. Tucker going to lob it up to Saar. And Saar misses, gets his own rebound, goes back up, and the rejection by Wen Ben Yama. But then he got dunked on. So now we only have a one-point lead. We're going to have to make some free throws here. Dylan stepping up to the line. First one is cash. Second one for Dylan is also good we have a three-point lead it's pretty simple math don't let up a three-pointer tucker's gonna pull one and he misses saw another rebound out to snow for a three no is that danny oh you're kidding me danny i mean i know it's a legendary name you gotta cook but like really oh no man get the ball into Wembenyama and let him hit this game winner do not give it to dylan man swing the rock dylan there you go Wembenyama. one second to go layup is good they don't even have enough time to get a shot up ggs yeah tucker it doesn't matter if you hit that we get the win we're moving on to the finals Wembenyama game winner dylan harper a 40 ball Wemby with 31 and now we're gonna be taking on the brooklyn nets in the NBA Finals. I have no idea who they have on their team. They have pretty much no one we know. Game number one of the series goes to us. We're up two to zero. We're up three to zero. The Nets take a game. They take two game. You're kidding. Do not blow a three to zero lead, Wemby. I swear. All right, it looks like we're good. We're gonna get the game seven win in dominant fashion. But wow, I can't even believe this went seven. We won by 39 points in this one. And Wemby wins finals MVP. So that's four chips for Weminyama. We're getting close to reaching that ultimate goal and it looks like Wemby is poised to pass Steph Curry on the all-time three-pointers made list next season so Wemby could have a perfect season in this upcoming year if he both passes Steph in threes and wins a chip then it won't really be debatable we'll know that Wembenyama is better than Curry Lamar early another MVP shout out to another Danny Danny Brand winning the most improved player Wembenyama did not make all NBA this season and guess what Wemby is now only nine threes away from passing Curry so he'll be doing that next season without a doubt also the NBA got rid of conferences in a rule change so now the standings are going off my screen it's really weird but let's get into round number one we're taking on Chicago and we beat them in six round two we got the Sacramento Kings we sweep them conference finals we got the Cavs we're down three to two and we lose in six so ring number five is not happening this year for women Yama the numbers were down quite a bit maybe the age is starting to show in season number 17 headed into season 18 for Wemby I'm 100% sure we'll see him pass Curry in threes but I'm not so sure that we'll win a championship and I want Wemby to get that fifth ring so that he can pass Steph all right we get it Lamar early how many MVPs does this dude have he's got six it feels like he has 600 oh my goodness Wemby didn't win DPOY he didn't make all NBA this man is a low-key wash we won 49 games on the season and of course this was the year where Wemby Nyama reached one of the big goals we had for him in this video he passed Steph Curry in threes and is now eighth all time on the three-pointers list anyways in round number one we got the t-wolves i would love to see us win but we're not going to we get swept at 37 years old Wemby doesn't have many more chances to win his fifth championship so hopefully he can make it happen soon because retirement might be looming for when Minyama. the whole team's getting old Wemby's still standing strong at a 99 he could become a free agent next year but i wouldn't expect him to he's been so loyal to the spurs i'm getting tired of this guy oh my goodness he wins every single mvp award no all nba for Wemby. we ended up making it into the playoffs Wemby's numbers were solid and we were the seven seed over here taking on the dallas mavericks and we're gonna beat them in six round two we got the 15 seeded raptors we sweep them conference finals we got the celtics and we lose Wemby played really well in his age 38 playoffs but it wasn't enough but he's still gonna keep it pushing he's got at least one more year in him oh my gosh he won another one Oh wow, Wemby made All-NBA second team at the ripe young age of 39, and we ended up making it into the playoffs as the 15th seed. Round number one, we got the Memphis Grizzlies, and we're down three to two. We might have a chance, never mind. But Victor's not ready to call it quits just yet. 
the greatest player of all time is back at it. Wow, Wemby won DPOY at 40. That is insane. He also made All-NBA third team, and we made it into the playoffs. 44 and 38, we're the 13 seed. And oh my goodness, we just upset the million-time MVP, Lamar Early. Round two, we got the Cavs, and that's where our run ends. Kind of a mid-playoffs for old Wemby, and that is going to do it. Victor Wembenyama has retired from the NBA. He ended up second all-time in total points and sixth all-time in total three-pointers made. Absolutely a obliterating Steph Curry's record for threes. And here's his resume, four rings, four MVPs, four finals MVPs. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.